UEFI is not scary, it's not difficult, it's not that hard. Let's go over it so you can actually start using it. I'm going to install Ubuntu. This VM is being forced to boot via UEFI. Ubuntu will detect if you start the installer with UEFI. Unfortunately, you can automatically install for you, but let's say you have another computer's operating system on there and you want to actually understand how to partition UEFI yourself. It's not hard. I'm going to go ahead and manually partition this just so you can see exactly how it's done. New partition table. Okay, so the first thing you want, the very first partition, is the EFI boot partition. We want to find EFI system, and what that will do is it will format it with FAT32, and it will also make it have a mount point of slash boot slash EFI on a lot of different distros. And make it about mm, half a gig. Now I'm going to add my root partition. I want it to be, I want to leave about an, a gig so I can have some swap space. And then swap space. And that's a really basic EFI partition scheme. You got your boot, root, and swap. Now there are actual reasons to set up EFI and not be lazy. Yeah, it is an extra partition, but you gain the ability to use GPT partition tables. That's cool, because now you can use disks that are larger than two terabytes, as well as set up more than four primary partitions. Very useful if you want to have a crap load of operating systems on a single drive. Plus, I hear they're adding more features to UEFI, and there'll be more recent in the future to use it, so might as well learn it now. Thanks for watching.